I think that's just like very, very, very handy thing, don't you think? Eh? It's like very, very handy thing. Why would you keep stuff like this uh, inside of the drawer here? Or whatever the hell this shit is here. It says garlic on it. Alcohol is crossed and it says garlic on it or whatever is inside in here. For the first time today, a milk that's basically a mixture, 50% of water, 50% of milk, turned, as you were able to see, into some kind of a soured cream. Uh, I don't know how you say that in English. I ate that stuff. It was delicious. Anyhow, uh, I've been preparing this kind of mixture, and you can see this thing is hot. Yeah, for many years, and I have not seen anything like I have seen today. And uh, it did happen so that the milk, which was here, and I prepared myself one today, came out just as you see here, the right way. But when I came here to prepare myself a second round of one, it turned into a sour milk because mother switched the milk I prepared myself with with some other already sour um, sour milk. So it came like this. So she knew exactly what she was doing. Interesting enough, I connect this together, looked inside in here, couldn't find anywhere this thing here okay this thing disappeared from here now you can see it got a completely different makeover it says disinfectant 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 for hands so she told me afterwards as I confronted her I have everything audio recorded this is a disinfectant for hands this is not uh, for the hairstyling uh, whatever. Um, I have to say, however, under MK Ultra, they insisted me they're gonna even use nail polishers. They're gonna stick into the glasses and stuff like this that I have to wash the glasses because they're gonna go and put the nail polishers inside and stuff like this. This is fucked up that you would keep stuff like this inside of the drawer. Today, the first time after I confronted her a few days ago, I see she placed this sign on. Well, you can see the videos. I'm gonna play you next for how long this shit's seated here. So what she is doing is with this kind of stuff, with that kind of stuff, she is trying to push forward some kind of paranoia. As I would be well, you know, it's not nice to have somebody drugged up and tell him you're going to use the nail polishers against one. I am experiencing basically symptoms, signs of what most likely would equal to cancer four stage, lymphoma. And so, you know, that you would go and you would do the stuff like this, that's just... To me, this is just fucked up, trying to what, to prove what, that I'm paranoid through the issues like this, through the milk, through this kind of stuff. Next to the poisoning, next to a real poisoning cancer play with uh, bone marrow radiation, I get this kind of shit. This shit has been laying around already for some time here inside of the kitchen. Maybe even, I don't know, I see this shit for weeks already here. Also, I was still on MK Ultra. The case is going to be to remind me uh, of all the stuff that I should do. Of all the stuff that I should do, you know. Of all the stuff that I should do. 
and what exactly the fuck I should do and about being excluded from a social environment, excluded from normal police procedure, courts that should investigate and get these people arrested. What exactly the fuck should I do in respect to this? Run around, eat healthy, not toxic, uh, and go sleep on time and that kind of stuff. That's what the fuck I should do because you know why? Because the poison radiation exists to teach people how the fuck it should be. So make sure that you poison. Now, what exactly this shit means? Yaga Baba? That means uh, like a lady, like a death. Uh, in Slovenian language, that's a, that's a Yaga Baba, that's a death, basically. So this is being used uh, when you say in Slovenian language, you go for the mushrooms with the Yaga Baba. That's an expression that you go fucking die. You, you die, okay? That's how we say in Slovenia. You go for the mushrooms with the Yaga Baba. Uh, where is this guy? You know, instead of saying he died or whatever, he says he, he went for a mushrooms five years ago with the Yaga Baba. Okay, like in a little bit humorous, funny way. Um, next to the people that are mentally ill, and that's exactly the environment I'm in. So this is what the fuck this shit is.